Hi folks, Master Chef Pork Chop coming to you live from the Pork Chop Kitchen this afternoon. We're going to bring to you today a recipe that I have loved for loved, loved me for many, many years. It's called Southern Squash Casserole. It's a dish that you don't see much unless you go to church socials or places like that. Some restaurants still serve it, but not many. It's a real easy dish to make. It only consists of squash, onions, uh, breadcrumbs, crackers, cheese, eggs, and a few salt and pepper, you know, just for taste. But uh, what it is, you take your about, uh, about, I used about five yellow squash, good size long neck yellow squash, and I cut the ends of them off and I cut them into wheels about a quarter inch, about a quarter inch thick slices probably. And I'm, then I chopped up about a quarter of a cup of onions, Vidalia onion. And then I got them in the pot here on the stove. And you see that, see the pot, the pot cooking on the stove here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sift through here with my spoon and let you see the squash you there. Look at there. Give you a little squash. Maybe I ain't fogging up the camera. But that's the squashies they're cooking. They're cooking with the onions. And I'll cook them till they get real tender. Till they get real tender and soft. And then I'm gonna drain them off. I'll drain the drain the liquid off of them. Because you don't want soggy squash casserole. You want a little moisture in it because of course because squash retains a lot of a lot of moisture. But you don't you don't want a lot in it there. But uh, this is the start of it. I just wanted to give y'all a little short a little short point before I go to before I go to the putting it together. And uh, I'll, I'll shoot a little video as I as I put it together. That way, I've had people want to know wanted to see some of the steps that I that I that I do in some of my, some of my stuff. So that makes it makes more sensible where people can actually watch watch what's going on. But anyway, I'm cooking the squash right now. I'm gonna drain it off, and then I'll catch you back in a little bit whenever I start putting all the ingredients together and getting it ready to cook. Alrighty, Master Chef Pork Chop out. See you in a minute. Hi folks, Master Chef Pork Chop coming to you live from the Pork Chop's kitchen. I'm back with you again. This is the second sequence to my squash casserole. I've got my squash already stewed off. I've got it strained. It's got my onions in it and everything. You can see that. And it's got very minimal amount of juice in it. You don't want a lot of juice in your squash casserole because you don't want it soggy. A lot of people make soggy squash casserole and that ain't good. Okay. And I have my crushed up crackers here. These are just crushed up saltine crackers. You just take you take a sleeve and bust them up, put them in there. I got a cup of panko, panko breadcrumbs. I got a half a stick of melted butter. And of course I'll use my salt, my pepper, and stuff like that for my uh, added additional stuff. And also I got two farm fresh eggs. And they're they're going they they'll go in they go into the mix also. And uh, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do first off is is I'm gonna and also I have cheese. I forgot to forgot to tell you I got cheese. I got mild cheddar cheese. And I'm hoping to do enough for have two squat two casserole dishes today for us to eat and maybe have one to, to share with somebody if if somebody if somebody might want it. But my squash has already cooked off. That's what I'm that's what I'm gonna that's what I wanna stress first. And I'm going to add my panko breadcrumbs to it, my, my one cup of panko, bread, panko breadcrumbs, and my half a stick of butter. Get all that goodness in there. And then my one farm fresh egg. Almost cracked that egg by itself. My two farm fresh eggs. Okay, let me get my little napkin here. To get my eggy stuff off here. And I'm gonna use about probably I'm gonna say probably a half a cup or maybe a cup of cheese. in my mix. So I might save some to put on the top of it. Okay. And then you mix all this together. 
Make sure you get all your eggs blended in there and get your squash blended in. Some people will take their eggs and and oh, whisk their eggs before they put it in there. And I feel it's okay just to do it like it is. It doesn't make any difference. And I like a cheesy squash casserole. That's why I add my cheese to the mixture to begin with. And uh, you see it mixes all this goodness in here together. Yeah, make sure it's blended all up good together. And that hot squash, see that hot squash already, that's already melting, it's melting that cheese as we go. And that's what you want to look for. You want to make sure you get your, get your squash. And those onions are already cooked also. I only put like a quarter of a cup or so of onions in there. And you, you see your squash, how, how your squash is already all cooked up in there real good. Just like that. And I'm going to add just a little more breadcrumbs to it. Probably about another, probably not another half a cup or a cup one. Really ain't gonna hurt a thing. It just makes it where it's not as, not as moist. Cause there's more moisture gonna come out of it in the oven anyway when you when we cook it. We're gonna stir all this up and blend it up good. Get it all blended up good here. Get it all blended up good. All right, now we're gonna take our fresh ground uh, fresh ground salt. We're using our, our, our sea salt. We're gonna put about a, probably about a good tablespoon full of salt in it. And we got our black pepper, which is our, we grind our own pepper. And we don't go light on pepper, but we love pepper. This, this is pepper from the world market. It's great stuff. The squash casserole, got to have some good pepper. I probably put two good tablespoonfuls in it, I guess. All right, now we're going to mix it again and blend our salt and peppers in there with it. Let's get it all blended together there. Look at there, folks. Look at all that goodness. Oh, yeah. Honey hush. All right. Now, we're going to transfer this over to our baking dishes, which is just a standard medium baking dish. And we may or may not have enough to do, too. I didn't do a lot of squash, so we'll just do one big one, probably. This is something I've been wanting to make for a while. Just didn't ever take the time to do it. By the way, folks, these uh, stainless steel bowls and bowls I'm using right here are an executive from Pampered Chef. They are amazing. They very they work very good. They clean up good. Got a rubber bottom on. They won't slide, and they got little markers on the inside of them where you can measure up your stuff. Excellent bowls. Excellent bowls. We love them. We love. Them. Got one here from my little breadcrumbs already. I'm gonna take this squash mixture and kind of just ease it around in there like that. Again. Then I'm going to take a little more cheese and just lightly cover the, kind of cover the top of it. Before I put the crackers on. And that should be the cheese. <coughs> that should be great for the cheese. Look at that. Yes, 
Master Pork Shop washes his hands regular, dude. Believe me. I know you all, all you food police out there, you uh, always like to like to find people to pick on. But your crackers, you just want to put a good a good layer of crackers on top of it. And the crackers, as this bakes, will absorb the moisture that's what's left in the casserole. And we won't be using all these. Might some, be some for to give our girls out there. They might like them. Okay, folks. That's what it looks like right there. Right before... She goes in the oven. That's what a squash casserole looks like. All right, Master Chef Pork Chop gonna slide her in the oven and gonna cook her for 35 minutes at 350 and they got the oven preheating. So we'll catch you back in just a few. Master Chef Pork Chop and the Cornbread Diva, out. Hi folks, Master Chef Pork Chop coming back to you. Live in the pork chop kitchen with a cornbread diva behind the camera. All pretty and everything today. We just been outside wrangling with the chickens. We had a uh, an estate, had a snake alert. Uh, she uh, went out to let the girls out tonight for their evening bath and oh lo and behold there was a snake in the coop. And so we had to wrangle the snake and get it, to, get it took care of. But, uh, cornbread diva, she is a chicken mommy. She get out there and done her stuff, and she is she is a downright chicken farmer, no doubt about it. But anyway, we're back to the squash casserole, and uh, we just have to take it out of the oven, and uh, we got a toasted we toasted the crackers on top of it. You can see the toasted crackers on top of it. How pretty! They uh they just uh, that's what you do on the squash casserole. All right, we're fixing to dip into this thing. You you can see firsthand we had we had disturbed this. This whole this whole thing yet, but we're gonna dip into it, and that's what we're having for supper tonight. And I'm gonna show you right off what this squash casserole is gonna look like. Look at there, folks. Look at there, folks. That right there is the Divas plate. That's what she's gonna have for supper. These plates are a little bit hard to wrangle with. Why don't you look at that? Look at that goodness. Take a take a shot of that inner goodness there, Diva. While uh, while I dip this other one out of here. This is a genuine cheesy squash casserole and it smells good real easy to fix something simple didn't take long at all to fix it look at there this is and you can look inside the pan and you can see the I'll, I'll turn the pan around here and you can see the layers and the, check the layers out in there folks look at that Look at all that goodness in there. There ain't nothing no finer than squash casserole from the pork chops diner. Oh yes, this is gonna be our supper tonight. All right, folks, you saw it live here on Master Chef Pork Chops Kitchen. Like I said a while ago, we use the Pamper Chef bowls, we use other Pamper Chef stuff, and, uh, and that Cornbread Diva can hook you up if you uh, if you any of you guys guys and gals. Want anything from the Pampered Chef lineup? Uh, she's good about that. Uh, she knows her stuff. No doubt about it. And uh, uh, we just want to say thank you for watching. We love all y'all guys. And, uh, you know, just uh, keep watching our videos. And whenever we post the video, you'll get a link to it. And uh, it'll be posted on YouTube. It'll be posted on Master Chef Pork Chops site. And it also be, uh, be, be, uh, be posted on, on, on my other Facebook site. 
We swap and share it out there for everybody can see it. But anyway, ring that bell, subscribe, like if you want to, and you know, just give us a good thumbs up because we love you and we need you. Have a wonderful afternoon now. Take care. Master Chef Porkchop and the Cornbread Diva. We out.